Hello, my friends, back again. Um, today, yesterday, first of all, I did a reading on whether Meghan was Harry's beard, and it came across that no, she didn't marry him um, for that reason. Uh, there was nothing in the early days that um, led her to think that um, she would be marrying him to be in that role. But what I want to know now is since they've been married, has she now got something to blackmail him with? Has something become apparent? Um, has she seen something? Has she actually witnessed something? Or has he confessed something to her? I've got a card that's flipped there. Let me just change cards over. Has he confessed or she's witnessed uh, something regarding his sexuality that she can now blackmail him with? Is he staying with her? because she has information on him regarding his sexuality. So that's my next question. So I'm going to use the Tower of the Abyss. Yesterday, I used the Curious Creatures because it was more lighthearted. Now we're getting deeper into blackmail. So I'm going to use this Tower of the Abyss and see what the cards will tell me. Again, a bit like yesterday, I'm not doing a full Celtic cross or that kind of spread. I'm just going to let the cards talk, let them fall where they will, and just see what the cards have to tell me regarding Harry and Meghan. Regarding Meghan in particular, does Meghan have information regarding Harry's sexuality with which she can blackmail him? Ooh, let's have a look here. I've got quite a few that have flipped, so we'll just go with these for the moment. Okay, let's have a look here. Um, we'll go for the bottom of the pack as well. Let's just, just draw from the bottom. Nine of Swords. Okay. All right, so the first thing that catches my eye is obviously the tower. Uh, there is something here that she has that is going to shake somebody to the core. Um, it's a reading about her energy, what she knows. So she knows something that will absolutely rock foundations if it gets out. Um, I'm seeing Harry as the Page of Pentacles. Um, he never, to me, comes across as like King energy or anything like that. Uh, sometimes he comes across as a knight, but he's very, very immature, very arrested development. Um, so I see him as more of a Page of Pentacles. Um, he's he's basically on his knees. He's He's trying to work, he's trying to do things, he's trying to endeavour to make things grow and to make things happen. Um, it's futile because it will never happen all the time that he's with her. He's not used to doing any kind of manual work. Um, he's never had to get his hands dirty. In, in this, you see the page, you know, in the earth, getting his hands dirty, getting down there, planting his pentacle, um, making it grow, you know, um, and he will reap the benefits of all of that. But Harry, this is so alien to him. He's never had to do this. He's never had to get his hands dirty in his life. So this is all coming very, very hard to him. And he has this arrested development. Um, he's still very, very much a child. You can't call this a man. Um, everything, the way that he thinks, his entitled behavior, he's very much a page, very much an immature man of whom there is this this secret that she knows, this information that she knows that could bring him down. So at the moment, it's very much um, trying to appear that all in the garden is fine, all is good, everything is balanced with this documentary and everything that they do, holding hands. Um, it's all a show. This is all good. We're balanced. We're together to become one. I sound like Spice Girls. But you know what I mean? It, it, it's all like everything is wonderful. We're interwoven. Our love is interwoven. Our emotions are interwoven. We look up to the sky. We look, we look because, you know, we are, we're better than everybody else. We've got our feet on the floor firmly. 
um, you know, everything in the garden is rosy for us. This is all um, very much make-believe. This is not the situation at all. He has to go along with this because of the tower. He has to go along with pretending that all is good, they're virtuous, and he is virtuous, she is, she's Mother Earth, everything is good because of this secret, and he knows that she has this on him. And the Four of Cups is, I don't want to go along with this anymore, but I have to. I don't want to go along with this. Um, you know, you keep offering me different projects to do. Every project fails. Um, there's nothing here that catches my interest. I'm bored. I don't want to get out of bed. Um, I kind of see this as somebody who's going to spend their time in bed having a drink or doing something rather than, you know, um, getting up and getting their hands dirty. They've, they've tried. They tried that in their opinion. Didn't really try it. But, you know, working, it's not for me. I don't want to do it. Um, but she's holding this over him. And this is really keeping him awake at night. It's causing him sleepless nights. It's causing him a lot of pain and anguish because she has him over a barrel and they have to pretend to be the loving couple, although he really doesn't feel it because she has this secret on him. So I'm going to go really to the heart of the matter now. I'm not going to shuffle anyone. I'm going to go right to the heart of the matter and see what we have here. Just go straight to the heart of the matter. We have Harry the Hermit. Harry the Hermit there. There's his birth card. So it's all about him. And then we have the Ace of Swords. Now, what she has on him, whether this is a fiction or whether it's the truth, I don't know. The Ace of Swords tends to tell me that um, it's a lie. But having said that, I think what happens is she takes a little bit of truth and then weaves it into a big lie. But there was originally a little bit of a foundation. Now, could this be that Harry has a good friendship with one of one of his friends, one of his guy friends, and she has woven this or taken a picture of them in an embrace, maybe just nothing very innocent, but she's going to use that and lie and create something. And she's been saying to him, oh, I've got proof of you and X, Y, Z, you know, which she hasn't really. But to all intents and purposes, it looks terrible. Um, you know, this is the kind of energy that I'm getting. Even if it is true, the fact that she would use that to blackmail him. I mean, that could be a perfect blackmail card, you know, that, you know, this this is true, that he he is bisexual that something has gone on with him and another man and she has that to use against him in the tower in reverse and um you know that the fact that she would she would use that she would tell she would tell that's very that's very interesting you know that it's come out this way so I think that she has got something to blackmail him with. Whether it is another man, I don't know. It could be over drink and drugs. And all of this is speculation. This is all silly tarot. Um, my my opinion of my cards. Um, so, you know, it's all just silly, silly tarot. But in my opinion, she is blackmailing him. And here he is, Harry the Hermit. That's his birth card. This is her Ace of Swords. Yeah. I believe she has something on him and it is going to come out and it will cause a total tower moment and it will rock everything to the core. Okay, so that's my reading. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you. Bye-bye.